this trading idea we have jf tech so jf tech uh one of the reason why we like the stock apparently the stock sideways movement or the consolidation that begins back in january um uh, appear to be on the tail end so one of the reason why because you see as uh, um what we call it a new high level structure was formed since january and the consolidation um over the past five months is potentially at the end um pen following the breakout move over the uh, 88 day moving average over here i know previously it has a similar breakout move but the structure that being created afterward is not that exactly strong and uh, i think in this case this structure is more more uh, accommodating in terms of their uh, you know movement that will be more uh, stronger one to three pattern here you seen a uh, quite what we call that like two kind of movement and here price action consider much more uh, stronger so uh, there's a multiple breakout move that you've seen on the RSI over here rising above both of its short term and long term um, average line the trading volume also improving um, uh, higher D trend also just entered the uh, uh, positive area so we're expecting the new up cycle to unfold the net resistance is actually paid one again and three cent and one ringgit and 15 cent with a cut loss at 84 and a half cent a risk to reward ratio is still uh, attractive at 1 to 2.4 which means 9 percent downside risk versus 22 23 percent upside potential all right there's no one scoring for the stock uh, let's move on to second training idea it will be dc healthcare holding so one of the reason why we like um one there is a multiple breakout that occur for the stock one you are seeing uh so-called cup and the pattern breakout yesterday right above their pattern neckline um on the back of high trading volume and another breakout you see is actually of the medium term downtrend line that begins uh, since november last year so this uh another breakout and uh, a third breakout is actually how you saw the stock price is actually rising above 88 day moving average turning everything uh, bias in more uh, positive territory so structure on the right side if you look here it continue to bounce off over the long term average line indicating overall momentum remain uh, elevated um, the trend also positive so we expecting the new up cycle to continue to unfold with the net resistance target is actually at 35 and a half cent and 42 and a half cent with the cut loss below 28 and a half cent so risk to work ratio is one to three which means 10 percent downside risk versus 30, 32 percent upside potential all right also there is no scoring for the stock last but not least will be skb shutters corporation so this is um also quite interesting because um the period of the consolidation that began back way back in uh, i think january um this year so the stock is actually pretty much on the sideway and um for the first time i think uh, since uh, what we call that uh, september last year the stock is actually breaking above the long term downtrend line and i think it's expected to test the uh, immediate resistance at 65 and a half cent which if this level been taken out we might see the end of the consolidation that um, begins since january now um if you look on the trend structure it quite supportive new high level structure was formed along the way and um the contraction in term of the moving average over here given tell you that uh, it's actually forming more a stronger and firmer baseline within the current support level and the pickup in term of overall momentum on the back of high trading volume and positively in the addition suggests the new uh, short term uptrend here about to accelerate further so uh, we put our technical resistance at 70 and a half cent and 79 and a half cent with cut loss below 58 cent which means the risk to ratio is 1 to 2.9 uh, 8 percent downside risk versus 25 percent upside potential <music>